All right, good evening. Tonight we're going to work on adding a lighthouse to a pour that we did the other day. But I was going to show you, um, I sold Miss Violet the hair, and last night or early this morning, while I was at school, I don't know exactly what time, I sold Madame Carrots. So today I finished two of the hairs. So I finished, there's going to be a glare because of the plastic. This one, and her name is Sunshine. So she's blues and greens. And then it's got a bright yellow and orange background. And I think she turned out real cute. Um, this was the one that had the napkin in the back with the French words. But every time I added a color on the back, I hated it. So I ended up putting opaque white paint, letting that dry, then going yellow, and then stamping with um, a stamp from Hot Potatoes. Do y'all remember that? So I like that real modern back. And then this one is Rosy Teal. And... Again, it's probably going to be hard to see on the camera. She's chocolate brown and magenta. And has a teal background. It's real dark on my screen, but I don't think it's as dark for you. And she has little roses on her fur down here. So. I'm going to list those on Etsy tonight. And... Uh, I signed up for a show on July 8th, so gonna, that's why I wanted to get those done. I'm going to probably off-camera crank out a bunch of, and I got a commission for the cutest little puppies. I don't know if I'm going to do them together or separate. But they're so cute. So I, I haven't talked to her yet. She shows her dogs. I used to teach with her. So I have the lighthouse cut out. I just need to sketch the house and do the roof. But Shauna sent me some paints. The show is here in... Uh, Fort Worth down off Magnolia Street. It's called Urban Traders Market. Okay, so she sent me. I haven't unwrapped them at all. And they're all wrapped up in plastic. So I'm not sure we'll unwrap all of them. Metallic red. These are all artist law. Naples yellow, she wrapped them really, if you want to send paints in the mail, Shauna's found a way, they're like metallic phthalo, phthalo green, she's got them all wrapped in plastic wrap. And not one accident. Uh, uh, looks like a metallic blue. Like a cobalt type metallic. Oh, you, yeah, post a picture, Jean, of your, it turned out so pretty. On Twitter so we can see it without the tape. It's like when you put it in the mat, it makes such a difference. Oh, this is metallic cobalt blue. 
um, a bronze, copper, old gold, burnt sienna, Camden, Camden orange, raw sienna, and Camden red. So, whoop, that'll be fun, fun, fun to mix in pours. So thank you again, Shauna. Okay, Rebecca, um, I'll send you the, the link that has like the info on Facebook. And Kaymore, I'll send it to you too. Uh, there's one this weekend, but I'm not going to that one. I'm going to, we're having a garage sale, so I'm going to the one in July. It's July 8th. So what we're going to do is, I already have the lighthouse, and I'm going to sketch the house from my photograph, and then put it together, and I'll probably add a little gray for the roof. And I'm just looking for my shapes, you know, like the parallelogram, the triangle. There's a rectangle here. And then there's another roof line. And then we'll add in the details like the veranda and the, because it's a covered. And this is the side that's going to get tucked under the lighthouse. So that'll give us the basic shape. that up to use on something else and I'm just going to use a piece of this jelly printed paper and I'm just gonna estimate the size if it hangs over a little, no big deal. Alright, so that'll work. And then the other piece will be skinnier be close enough. Then I want to cut another piece about the same size. For the other side. Okay, 
so I want that's my angle. This will end up being straight. So I'm going to take this one. I think if I cut. I just need to trim it. I think I can make it work. So far, I really like this side better. Wonder. Talking to myself, sorry. I'm wondering if I can just tuck this over and then cut the end. I think I will. All right, so let's get a little brush. And I'm going to move the camera in because we're going to be really just right in this area. Hi, Jennifer. Did you see my message that I mailed? Little Miss Violet. She went in the mail today. So, uh, they said you should get her Thursday. Thought they were going to have a ride at the post office when I was in there. Uh, there was, well, when I went in there, there were three people, two women, and a man getting their passports. So the lady said, You'll have to come, I'll, I'll do it. You'll have to come over to this computer. And they moved over and they got in line and the rest of us stayed in the normal line. So there was one guy doing the normal stuff and one lady uh, working on the passports. And she said, we're going to have to hurry because the cutoff is 1 o'clock in the afternoon when they stop doing the the passports so they were all like oh well we're ready we have our paper fit work fill up well then this other lady came in I don't know if it was with her son or her husband and it was 1 15 and the woman on the at the counter was on the first lady that had been in line in front of me and there were two women that were in front of me at the regular postal place. And she saw the woman that worked there saw that she had uh, passport applications in her hand. And she said, you're going to have to come back tomorrow because we only do passports till 1.30. And the woman said, well, yeah, I know. It, I called. It's 1.15. I took off early to be here. Um, nobody told me. I, she started ranting and raving. Nobody told her that, that you had to have an appointment. She wasn't leaving. Well, then she ended up speaking to the guy that manages that post office and he basically told her listen there's three people there's ten minutes left not only will she have to do their passports she'll have to stop at 130 regardless of where anybody is in the line 
and she has to take help take care of anybody that's in line in front of you that needs regular postal stuff. I thought she was going to flip out. But then I started mailing my packages and I never did see what she did. I think she ended up leaving because throwing a temper tantrum wasn't getting her anywhere. Alright, so I'm just putting gel medium on top. So that I can use the pit markers. And I'm going to switch to the larger brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put a layer all over. It'll help when I go to do the varnish. I cleaned it, but there still could be some silicone. But since I switched to the spray, and I'm not using that treadmill that I first bought, I haven't noticed it um, as much. Now, I did notice on one of the pores that were in the pan, there was some on the skin when I was working on it. But I've been able to clean them off and not have any problems. Plus, there's a tear over here I want to glue down. Yeah, she was going postal at the post office. And, you know, they don't put up with that. finding all these little things, these little tweaks that you need to do to it, Jean. Jean painted a uh, watercolor on her stream and she thought she was finished, but now she's looking at it and deciding that she might have forgot some things. And she's music scrap. So if you missed her stream, you ought to check it out on YouTube. And it's M-U-S-C, I think. Right, Jean? Jean, why don't you put your uh, YouTube in case somebody's not been to your channel. Okay. I don't know. I thought it was weird. I have. I don't. I just thought it was really weird. Okay. I hope I didn't lose y'all. 